Well, this had all of us talking. A new study looking at the pros and cons of remote work. Economists at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York say young workers may be missing the power of proximity. Like this, mm. like this. A recent New York Times article looked at the research saying that remote work enhanced the productivity of engineers when they were studying, but reduced the amount of feedback that some junior engineers were receiving. So joining us now is Ben Castleman. He co-wrote the article and is an economics reporter for the New York Times. Ben, good to have you with us. Uh, Lilia and I, obviously, you can tell, <laughs> love being together. Um, and uh, and one of the interesting things about your study, uh, or about this study, rather, is the power of proximity. Talk to us about what researchers say is that power. Yeah, so this is some research that was based on a, on a big tech company where they were actually able to measure the feedback that engineers received and gave to one another. And they found that when teams were split up across campuses or, or when, of course, we all went remote in the pandemic, that workers and especially young workers just got less feedback from their senior colleagues and from their bosses and, you know, I think this sort of captures something that maybe some of us know intuitively, but it's been tough to measure, right? Which is that a lot of career development and especially early career development comes through these sort of informal channels, right? It's it's seeing your colleagues working. It's asking them questions. It's them giving you advice. It's your boss giving you sort of little tips. Mm. And that can be really hard to replicate in a, in a remote environment. Yeah, I can imagine that because one thing is... You know, getting an official email, you're, you know, that's that's like a serious thing of something you did wrong. But if you run into someone and they can tell you, hey, I would have done it this way, yeah. there is, it seems like a big gap. So does it start to feel now like, like companies are thinking that remote work was a mistake? I mean, look, on some level, I think the genie is out of the bottle there, right? You know, we, we know we're not all going back to the way things were before. And so I think what studies like this are important for is they start to figure out, you know, what has actually been lost so that we can then start to figure out ways of actually adjusting that capture that. You know, some of these things that just happened organically, maybe now companies need to figure out ways to do more intentionally. You know, we've learned how to give formal reviews or do hiring, some of these sort of formal processes online. Now we've got to figure out ways to do some of the more informal processes because it's it's not happening in the way that it did in the past. Mm, yeah. That's an interesting point, Ben. And uh, obviously these are preliminary findings, um, but there were also advantages that came out of working remotely, particularly for, uh, for women, uh, for parents, for people who are non-traditional workers. When do you think we'll actually suss out the true impact of remote work and, and what will last for us? Yeah, and I think this is part of what makes this issue so tricky, right, is it's not remote work good or remote work bad, right? We hear from workers that they like it, that they value it. You know, it obviously is very beneficial for, you know, parents with young children, for people who have caregiving responsibilities. But also we often find that senior folks are more productive when they're working from home. So we have those real mm -hmm. advantages, but there are also these disadvantages that may be slower to emerge, mm -hmm. right? Those early career impacts you may not pick up on right away. And it may be years down the line before they become fully clear. And so, you know, I think what we're seeing now is that they're, they're both sides of the coin and companies are going to have to grapple with sort of how to design the workplace of the future in a way that it, you know, saves the, the good parts of work from home and yeah. the good parts of the office. All right. Ben Castleman, thank you. Thanks so much.